Good morning. Bron and I would like to welcome you to this very special edition of PCMK Virtual Church. Other than this welcome from myself and some music from Terry, our worship will be led entirely by our wonderful youth. We have some volunteers doing readings and prayers, and our message is given by three of our graduating seniors. Please stay tuned after, during the postlude, for a slideshow tribute to all of our graduating seniors put together by Lisa and Terry. We also have some special music uh, by Spencer as well. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, let us prepare to worship God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Youth Sunday, and our Director of Youth Ministries, Will Cosnett, has prepared a special service for us, along with the help of our graduating class. Along those lines, I'm happy that Spencer Schutz is here to join me to provide today's special music. Spencer has been active in our music program and a valued member of our adult handbell choir for as long as I can remember. Thank you, Spencer, for to making today's music extra special. The hymn I chose is number 430, Come Sing, O Church, in Joy, to the tune of Darwell's 148th. To co conclude today, I'm going to play Sir Edward Elgar's Pomp and Circumstance, Military March No. 1 in D Major. Elgar wrote five of these marches for orchestra. Ironically, none of them have to do with the military or the graduation ceremonies they have become associated with. This first march is the only of the five that has an organ part. And that organ part is the pedal entering the last time the familiar tune is played. I believe Elgar wanted to embellish and strengthen the percussion department, and I believe he succeeded. This piece works well for graduation ceremonies, and I've had the honor and fun of playing for Columbia Preparatory School, Preparatory and Grammar Schools, commencement celebration held at Lincoln Center's Alice Tully Hall for 28 years. The march is actually two marches. It begins with a less familiar march, which I used to play the faculty in, and once they're situated, I begin the more familiar tune and the students enter. I'm going to play the piece today in its entirety, and when the familiar tune begins, my wife, Lisa, has prepared a special slideshow to honor our graduating high school class. I hope you enjoy this. Finally, the flowers to my left are in celebration of my 10th anniversary of service to PCMK. It has been a great joy providing music every Sunday morning, working with you, and playing this magnificent water organ.
Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people in the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Good morning. Our gospel reading this morning is from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Listen for the word of God. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Amen.
Good morning. If you don't know who I am, my name is Spencer, and I've been coming to the church for over 10 years. I'm going off to college this August, and what I'll miss most about PCMK is the community of people and the things we do together. For those of you who know me, I'm sure I won't surprise you by saying my experience in the church really started with the Christmas pageants. With my mom writing and directing, and my dad running tech, it really was a family affair. I'll never forget being in those shows and all the hard work that happened behind the scenes. There were many nights where we, the Wassums, and the Corellis stayed at the church real late into the night, staging, choreographing, or just trying to not be creeped out in the church at midnight. Of course, it wasn't just us. So many kids and families came together to make the pageants possible. The church community worked hard, but we put on seven incredible shows. I mean, who else drops things from the ceiling, sets up light shows, and gets the governor of New York to participate in their Christmas pageant? Then, of course, is another blockbuster event for the church, the rummage sale. In just one week, our church is transformed. We raise tens of thousands of dollars for charity. Everyone works so hard for so many hours. Just one year alone covered my community service graduation requirement for all of high school. But when we're ready to open and we stand in a circle to pray for a successful sale, we really are a bonded community. Because everyone sets up their own room and we all have a role to play serving the bigger picture. And that is definitely a lesson that I can take with me into the future. Another community that I've enjoyed being a part of in the church is the youth group. When I was younger, Sarah Lucas hosted bonfires and taught us about farming, and now Will is continuing the fun with escape rooms, game nights, and other activities. Will has done an amazing job with the program, creating a lot of fun and also some very engaging discussions on a whole array of topics. In recent years, my favorite part of the church might be the music. The church has an incredible organ and a world-class organist to play it. Terry is an amazing music director, and I've enjoyed being in the bell choir with him the last few years. The music really does make the church services special, from the Bach cantatas to vocal arrangements. And I'm sure we can all agree that Easter service would not be the same without the triumphant ending of Terry playing Vidor's Toccata. Last year, my friend Kevin Fink held his senior recital for double bass at the church, and now I'm playing violin at some point during the service. It really has been fun listening to and participating in the music of church. The last few months sure have been strange. The coronavirus has created abrupt endings to both senior year and church, but I know I'll see everyone again this November or December when I come back from Duke. In the meantime, I'll miss the church and the people in it, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Until then, stay safe and take care. Hi. Um, I came to PCMK when I was around 13 years old, and I was baptized here a year later. While at church, I volunteered at Holmes Farm, helped make food for the local soup kitchen, and sang at Christmas Eve services. I remember how much fun I had, whether it was cooking with the youth group in the kitchen or attending a bonfire at Sarah's. I will always remember the memories that I have made. As a senior in high school stuck in quarantine, I've had a lot of time to reflect on where I've chosen to spend my time and what I decided to do during my four years of high school, and I'm glad that I have these moments from PCMK to look back on. As I go into college, I know that I will take my experiences from PCMK with me and continue to strive to be service-oriented. I would like to thank Pastor Dale for the beautiful services over the years, Elizabeth for the wonderful singing opportunities, Will for his time and passion in the youth group meetings, and Sarah for her amazing conversations and friendship. Thank you to everyone at PCMK that made my time here so memorable and meaningful. Hi guys, my name is RJ Marlowe. I'm a high school senior at PCMK. And today I wanna say a few words and thank yous to everyone in the PCMK community. First of all, I wanna say I am so immensely grateful to have met many of you guys and be a part of the PCMK mission. The Presbyterian Church of Mount Kisco has always been a place of peace, worship, reflection, and kindness for me. PCMK taught me to be a community member, be selfless, be grateful, be there for others who need you, respect your elders, and most of all, it taught me forgiveness. I hold so many cherished memories with this church, such as Dale's inspiring sermons, those coffee hours where I feel like I'm eating at a five-star buffet, Terry and others' beautiful music, Christmas Eve, Easter Sunday, the rummage sale, meetings up at the manor, the unforgettable and life-changing mission trips, and many, many more. 
But I want to acknowledge a few people individually in the church who have especially shaped my character, and I am so grateful to have met. First off is Sarah Lucas, my first youth group leader when I joined a middle school. Sarah always made me feel like a close friend. She was so kind and loving to us kids, and from visiting her old farm to having bonfires and playing games at Lucas's Manor, she always taught us to value nature, animals, and how important it is to care for the environment. Next is our current youth group leader, Will. Will is literally the most positive person I've ever met in my life. I've never seen this man the slightest bit unhappy, and he is always spreading his potent high energy onto the youth group. He is young at heart and always wants to have fun with us. You can always rely on him to brighten your mood, and I'm grateful to be friends with such an uplifting person. At the center of it all is Dale and Elizabeth. These two run the show at PCMK, and through the past two mission trips, I've grown very close with the both of them. Dale is the best pastor a high schooler could ever ask for. He is extremely humble, compassionate, and can crack some really funny jokes. He knows how to bond with all age groups and makes worship relatable and applicable. Elizabeth is very generous with her time and work. She is very committed and caring to the youth, and we're grateful for that. Dale, Elizabeth, Will, and Sarah, you guys have been outstanding mentors and supporters to me growing up. I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't be who I am today without you guys, and thank you so much for everything you have done for me. Even though I won't be around most Sundays anymore, I can't wait to come back and visit during the holidays. I truly am blessed to be a part of PCMK, and thank you all so much. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this benediction. Go forth to your lives with peace and with rejoicing, and may the love of God, 
the grace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and all whom you love, this day and evermore. Amen. Thank you.